Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we worked on members controller and some custom routing, but left the template implementation for show action remaining. And we will finish that show template implementation in this lecture. And let's do that. So first switch to the project directory and in the project directory, after switching, you first need to create a directory inside the app views with the name as member. Okay, so create the new directory inside the views and name it as members. Okay, and why we name it as members because our show action is implemented inside the members controller and if we want to create templates for a controller, then we always need a directory in the views with the same name as the controller name. Okay, and now after creating the uh, members directory in the views, the next thing we need to do is to create a template with the same name as the action name for which we want to create the template okay so since we have only one action right now that is show so we need to create show.html.trb inside the members controller okay so let's create this show.html.trb okay and now just keep this file empty for now and go to the browser and when you click on view profile of any link okay for example if you click on view profile then you will see an empty page in the browser why because we did not we just created the show template and we did not write any html into it okay now we need to create uh, some or we need to write some html code into uh, this show.html.trb to reflect on the browser or to show the user details so this is back to the project directory again and here first we will define our call lg10 class so div class call lg10 mx auto and then mt5 okay and then here inside this div we first need to use the card class sorry the class card div class card and this and now in this card class first we need to use the row class okay because now we will directly not define the card body class inside the card we will divide the row into two columns one is for column call lg4 and one other is call lg8 in the call lg4 column we will first display the user image and then in the call lg8 portion we will display the user's text information like name address city country and so on okay however you can add uh, mb5 inside this class as well card as well okay now define the row class so div class row and inside this row first define div class call lg4 call lg4 okay and in the same way define a new class that is call lg8 in this row okay and now in this call lg8 class you need to define your card body okay so div class card body okay and end this card body okay now before writing anything inside the card body first we need to display the user image in this call lg4 so what we can use here image take uh, that's it uh, image take and use the dummy image that we used in the index space okay so what is the name here so you can see dmu1.jpg so just copy this name and we will use the image name inside the image tag of the show path and here we need to add a class bootstrap class for image that is img fluid okay save this now we need to insert uh, some data inside the card body of the uh, other port that is call lg8 okay so first we will display the username so what we can use here let's use an s3 tag and add a class like uh, fw bold okay that will display the text in bold and it is uh, uh, the full form is phone to weight bold so bootstrap has defined it fw bold okay now here we need to define the username so at the rate user dot name okay and make sure that you define this user with at the rate sign inside the show action okay and because uh, as we discussed previously when we work on the index template that on the view template you can only display the instance variable or the data you defined with the at the rate sign okay and in the home controller you can see that we define this user with at the rate sign so we need to use this at the rate user name here okay and now we can display the profile title so what we will use here let's say p class lead 
these are all bootstrap classes i'm not using any custom class here okay so p class lead and here we can use at the rate user dot profile title profile title okay and now we need to display the address information okay but for address information what we have we have like city state country and so on so rather than including every i mean rather than uh, displaying everything separately here like city state country and street address what we can do that we can simply define an instance method in the user model and from there we can fetch the city state country and pin code values okay so first open the user model and just like name what we need to do here we can define an instance method so that def address def address and in this address what we need to do you can use city then comma state country comma name pin code or if you wish you can do this in uh, break parenthesis as well but i am just keeping it with the comma separated values okay and now we can access users address by this instance method okay so come to the show template again and here we can use uh, let's say p class lead and we will call at the rate user dot address so that we will have the value of country state and city city state country and pin code so user dot address okay save this and now switch to the browser and refresh the show page of the user okay so when you refresh the page, you can see that we are seeing the user information like this. So you can see that users image in the right side of the card and in the left side, eh, sorry, in the left side, we have the user image and in the right side, we have the user details like its uh, country uh, address, profile title and its name. Okay. However, if you wish, you can provide some color to the country as well, uh, address part. So let's provide a text primary. So we have some different here. So P class lead text primary when you refresh this you will see the address part into the primary color okay but we can show something else as well here like users about information okay because uh, uh, we can display the users uh, personal details and we can display the description of the user as well that user might uh, provide to read about his profile or about his okay so what we can do here we can add another card element below this card so just to minimize this card or just copy this card mb5 and here what we can do card mb5 minimize this and then use here div class card body minimize it to and then we will display we will again use column row here like uh, in the card body okay so div class row and here we can define it like uh, div class call lg6 call lg6 and again copy this and here inside this div class call lg6 we need to define a flex class okay that will justify content start so whatever we write in that justify content start it will be shown from the starting point of the div okay so div class sorry first define the element div class and d flex okay and then justify content start and end this okay and here what we can do we can use like uh, about in the s3 tag okay and now copy the same dflex class and paste it into the div class call lg6 and here when we start accessing or when we start working with the device users then we will add a link here to edit the description for currently signed in users okay so what we can do here right now we can just remove this s3 and just keep it as empty div and here what we can do dflex justify content end okay and for example here you can do something like this if you use s3 class here uh, you can provide uh, like save it 
and now if you refresh the browser you will see that one content is in top and one that is content is in right okay sorry left and right so here it is the about field and here we will add the link to display the edit link for this description attribute for the user but we will do this when we start working with the device user so for now just uncomment it sorry just comment it and remove it and now just minimize this row and after this row what we will do that we will display the details of the users okay so here we need to display plea class lead and here we need to use rails tag and in there at the rate user dot sorry not profile title it is about okay save this and now refresh the browser so when you do this you will see that there is about attribute now okay so this is how we can display the user's detail on the browser and you can do the same thing for any other user okay so now for example go back to the root page and if you click on the other user you will see the other user detail like its name and title profile title and address and the about since about is uh, same for all the users for now because we use the dummy lorem ipsum content for every user and we are displaying the user image that is static so user image in the about you can uh, see for all for the same uh, all users okay and it is the dynamic part and it is different for every user okay and that's it for this lecture now in the next lecture we will learn how to access the currently signed in user in the device as now it is important to work with device users as we move forward in the project meanwhile try this lecture at your end and we will meet into next lecture till then tata goodbye take care and stay safe